So, uh, hello everyone. And uh, uh, my name is Zhang Yixiu, assistant professor from China Medical University. So uh, in the next 10 minutes, I would like to share with you my current research. So uh, every single cell has a unique mechanical uh, state when the cells are attached to the surface. So by knowing cell subject interaction can help us to better understand the cells are in health or disease. So in our group, we have developed the cellular force sensing uh, biochip that can detect the cell generator force in real time and high throughput manner. <clears throat> so by visualizing the, this uh, uh, cellular force mapping image or video, we can identify the state of the cell through the mechanical response. So for instance, uh, these two images represent two, two different uh, cell types. So it's difficult to identify them with uh, their morphology. However, through their mechanical uh, state, you can identify actually at least one is normal cell, the other is a cancer cell. So which means we can use a cell generator force as a mechanical fingerprint, as a physical biomarker to identify the state of the cell, which including like a cell phenotype or like an efficiency of the drug response. So the advantage of this system is uh, this uh, force uh, sensing biochip that we can monitor the, the mechanical fingerprint of uh, 10 to 100 thousands of cells at just a few seconds. So this uh, provides a high throughput uh, ability compared with the existing force sensing system, so which allow us to better understand cellular heterogeneity. So I give you the <clears throat> So if we compare like a conventional system, so the conventional system basically normally provide like a single data point. So it's a belong to kind of a low resolution, even like a currently use at least a single cell RNA sequencing. So which you can uh, monitor the many of the, uh, the data point of the cell, which is belong to high resolution uh, technique. But however, you need to sacrifice the cell to get the genome information. So which you need to is kind of invasion system to analysis the cell. But the system we are looking, we are developing is like a full sensing biochip. Now not only has a single cell resolution there, but, but also has time resolution. So you can simply to uh, imagine like we, if we st uh, study like uh, the state of cell, we can now from the single picture to like a movie. So like an example here, you can see like, a, this is like a cell early adhesion between the normal and the cancer. So they has a very distinct, uh, this a mechanical phenotype. So this system has uh, provided a low cost, uh, non-invasive, and uh, which is also compatible with a conventional tool with a real time and high throughput. So I would like to give you one uh, application of the cell dynamic. So the dynamic is called a cell migration. So it's also the typical for the cancer cell. So the, 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 the unique of uh, this, um, uh, the cancer cell function is uh, the cancer cell can do the metastasis. So which is the cancer cell use the uh, mechanical properties and can break through this barrier and migrate to the other organ. So which uh, make uh, the challenge for the anti-cancer treatment. So this will be is an important application for uh, not only to see how the cell migration also to see how it correlated to their mechanical properties. And another application also a little bit refer uh, what uh, this uh, uh, Mrs. Huilin just described. So this is a cardiomyocyte. So which is a cell is representative of uh, this heartbeat. So basically this cell it has a really high dynamic. So in order to monitor this uh, behavior, you need to do this uh, really high speed camera and uh, uh, monitor with the long, uh, longer period. But however, conventional uh, tool like uh, for instance, uh, indicator it has uh, some issue for that because uh, first it's like if you uh, monitor cell in this uh, in this condition so sometimes you will cause the phototaxi effect or even the, the fluorescence image will quickly breach after the the you if it is screening really fast but however because uh, to detect in the mechanical properties is uh, label free so it's allow us to uh, dynamic the monitor cell for a long period. So you then can see the how does this uh, cell respond before and after the drug treatment. So another uh, challenge for the anti-cancer therapy is uh, is, uh, is uh, drug resistant. If the, the cell not respond to the drug, so the, the treatment is not a longer effect uh, for, for, for therapy. So the idea is that we, we, we uh, 
interesting, we discover use uh, this uh, post uh, sensitive bio system to discover this uh, EGFR mutation lung cancer. Uh, by to look at uh, the uh, mechanical properties, they has a uh, quite different between the sensitive and the, the resistant cell. So they has a very different uh, uh, this um, uh, mechanical phenotype, and uh, we even can uh, uh, discover some like a uh, uh, mechanical relax signaling pathway. So such as like uh, uh, interquin uh, beta one. So when we block the this uh, 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 interquin beta one, actually we can convert the resistant cell phenotype to more sensitive. So in the end, we also test uh, this, uh, this uh, block, this uh, signaling pathway combined with uh, anti-cancer drug. We can significantly reduce uh, the efficiency of the drug resistance. Mm. Another application is for the cell therapy. So now it's also popular, something like a CAR-T therapy. So this system can be also to monitor uh, by using the mechanical fingerprint, uh, fingerprint to identify the activation, a, a, a activation of the immune response. So, uh, for example, we can monitor the this uh, macrophage from the this uh, M zero to the M one or M zero to the M two. They also has a quite different uh, mechanical uh, fingerprint, and we can also use a system to understand how this uh, immune cancer interaction by just look at the lost cancer cell. When we add this immune cell, the immune cell has uh, some interaction with the cancer. They can reduce uh, the uh, uh, if you look at uh, the uh, the mechanical function of the time, you can see they are reducing this uh, the uh, magnitude of the mechanical force, uh, and uh, the the actually the sensitivity is all more sensitive before they lose uh, their 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 fluorescent signal signal of this cancer cell. And uh, we are not only work uh, with uh, in a single cell state because. Uh, uh, we are also, we know in, in a more complicated in the clinical use uh, uh, situation, the cell actually is a form like a 3D structure. So our, our system also can uh, combine with some engineering tool. We can confine and we can combine the number of the cell to make uh, this uh, cell as a cluster and do the drug uh, screening. And we can also to monitor this uh, kind of 3D like a uh, tumor sphere, even like uh, this uh, uh, patient derived uh, uh, organoid, just uh, like uh, Dr. Liu mentioned before, and we can monitor uh, their mechanical state before and after the drug treatment. Wow. And uh, lastly, I want to show is that most uh, current research, we can even direct to measure the, the tissue uh, uh, by using our mechanical uh, biosensor because this which is more close to the clinical use. So we can monitor with the success identify the tumor versus like a norm, like a tumor versus normal. Even we can taste, we can inject in some cancer cell, let the cell, cell migration and metastasis to a different organ. Then we can also success uh, identify those, uh, the, 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 this uh, tumor associated with or normal cell has a quite different mechanical response. And uh, the most important because we do it this uh, is in a live cell imaging. So we can also uh, screen how those tissue respond to the drug. So uh, lastly, yeah, if uh, you are interested, it's very welcome, feel free to contact with uh, me. And uh, I'm, I'm very, um, we are looking for the PhD student or even postdoc or students uh, to join us, uh, help us uh, together to di discover this system. With that, I will thank you for your attention.